So in, in September of uh, 2021, uh, Rory worked with us to install the first retrofitable AI-powered robotic waste picking system in England. Uh, FCC RE3 took the decision to install a recyclable robotic unit on their HDP QC line, uh, where the main target was the quality control of the HDP natural. Uh, but it is a split belt and any extra available picks are being used to quality control uh, the mixed plastics that runs alongside it. On top of then picking out material in four separate buckets, uh, fiber, residuals, cans and fill. Rory, welcome. It's lovely to have you with us. Uh, how are you today? Brilliant. Thanks, Victor. Yeah, yeah, really good and really happy to be here and be part of this. Great. Well, I, I'd love to cover the, the drivers that made you decide to invest in, in robotic sorting and, and the journey that you've been along with us and, and the team. So we'll jump straight into it. Um, as general manager of FCC RE3, could you share what your responsibilities are with regards to strategic and operational decisions? Okay, so, you know, not only am I responsible for delivering our current services, it's about developing the strategies on how we're going to future proof them, you know, how we're going to develop our partnership with the councils, which obviously includes technology. Um, you know, it's about working with them, making sure that we deliver the frontline services and that they're adaptable, um, that we can future proof. And of course, you know, increasing our recycling diversion performance and minimizing environmental impact. Okay, thanks. Um, and what are your initial sort of objections, uh, sorry, uh, objectives when uh, you considered robotic automation in, in the first place? Uh, well, I think one of the things, you know, for FCC and the RE3 partnership is, you know, we're, we're very forward thinking. Um, we're always looking, you know, at new technologies and ones that we can adapt, um, particularly interested in technologies that can improve the recycling process. You know, and one of our main drivers was about ensuring that we have good material purity, you know, which again helps us get sustainable offtake, future proof that, you know, and if I look back at my now 10 years with with FCC, my previous role as, as general manager for the trading team, which I used to market all of our recyclers, you know, for me, I really see that the relevance, you know, and the importance of having that that good quality material output from the MRF, you know, and you, you kind of pull all of this together with the capabilities of the robot and it, you know, it helps us push and develop that sustainable growth of the business. Okay, and could you share a bit more information on what line the system was was deployed on and, and how that decision was made to, to select that site? Uh, so I think, you know, one of the things which, which was was really good was obviously when we met with you, you know, you and your team came out to the MRF, you know, we'd done a, a, a good walk around, a good investigation as to where we thought it would, would get the best results, you know, and identifying the plastics line was, was where we thought we'd get, you know, really good results. Um, I think as you picked up and mentioned earlier, you know, the, the robot is actually doing quite a lot of work in that plastics cabin. You know, it's a split stream um, line of plastic that comes in. So so the main focus for the robot is ensuring that the HD natural is, is placed on one side of the belt, um, then making sure that that's, you know, free of contamination, removing things as, such as fiber contamination, making sure the other mixed plastics are, are on the, the other side of the belt. So. You know, I think we, we saw the real value in, in the, what that could do in that particular cabin. Okay. And, and had you tried automation at your site before? We, we've got automation, but, you know, this is the first time we've ever tested robotic picking. So that's why for us, this was, you know, really exciting because it's first time across our, our UK business that we've done it. Okay. And, and how easy was it to get approval for the project? I think one of the things that, that enabled me to get the approval was being able to go to the board with the the data and the information provided by yourselves you know particularly that that was demonstrated the the increase in performance which obviously dry, drives financial benefits you know and i think one of the the other key things was how this aligns with our company value of being forward thinking you know and actually you know that our overall strategy of, of being ready for the future and, and being prepared for that you know and we felt that this technology would help us you know, do that and be relevant now as well as being able to adapt for the future. OK, could you perhaps talk the audience through how the installation went for you? Yeah, so, so the installation was really good. You know, there's obviously a lot of work leading up to that, you know, in terms of planning and, and design and, you know, and the recycling team, 
um, were able to work with our site team and, and our FCC engineering team to, to work on that. Um, the install itself went really well. You know, it, it was done over a weekend, um, so no disruption to the, the operation of the MRF, which was absolutely fantastic. You know, there's a small team of Recycli uh, people that were there. You know, and, and because of the way it was planned and the way you delivered it, it was all of the, the robot, the frame, the safety equipment and the cage was able to be built within the MRF cabin. So, you know, again, no heavy lifting equipment, no big interruption to all the other operations on the site. So, so from our point of view, that, that went really well. Okay. And, and could you perhaps share what the process after the initial installation was like? Yeah, so, so again, you know, the, the Recycle I team worked with our FCC engineering team, you know, not only to make sure that the install went well and then the implementation, um, but then again, you know, what I thought was really good, the way that everyone worked as a team, you know, the Recycle I team, the FCC engineering team and, you know, my site team in particular, um, Laura Fisher, one of my colleagues, you know, we were able to really kind of identify improvements to the robot implement changes which you know has helped improve the accuracy and the performance so so yeah got a really great team effort working forward okay great and uh, what results have you seen well there's some great results at the moment um, and obviously you know some of them are in the case study that will be provided but i think you know we're now achieving sort of up to 55 picks per minute you know which is really fantastic um, one of the big things for us, you know, is the material quality. So if we look at our HDPE natural, you know, less than 1% contamination within that going out. So, you know, that's brilliant, you know, absolutely great performance. And what we've been able to do is analyze that data in, in, with yourselves. You know, we've seen over the period the robot's been in, we've seen a 12% increase, you know, in, in the target material that's been picked. So yeah, fantastic results so far, getting better and better. Okay, and how do you know that those results are indeed accurate? Um, so the dashboard that is provided by Recycli, um really good, contains some really good information. So we can look at things like, you know, the amount of items on the belt, the amount of picks that the robot has undertaken, what those picks were, you know, what material type it was, where it placed those, those materials, you know, was it on the correct side of the belt? Was it in the correct shoe? You know, we're then able to, we can then perform some manual checks so we can do some physical checks on the sample data of the material outputs you know so we can verify that those those numbers are accurate okay great and would you consider more robots <laughs> well i think of course you know we, we'd love to to look and develop and you know we're already exploring potential opportunities elsewhere within within fcc um, but I think, you know, for us, we see the time to invest in technology and equipment is now. Um, but what I would say, you know, it's absolutely vital that we get clarification from the government on their consult consultations for DRS, consistent collections, because what will that enable us to do? We, we can then really assess and target the investment that we need to make sure that we are putting the right equipment that's that's not only relevant now, but relevant for the future as well. OK, great. And what's next for you? Um, well, I think, you know, picking up on what, what we've been saying, you know, obviously being forward thinking, we're, we're, we're always concentrating on the future, what it will bring. You know, we're looking at the potential new materials such as flexi plastics, those sorts of things. You know, it's about working with our local authorities to make sure that, you know, they're able to adapt and be ready for the potential changes from the resource and waste strategy. Um, you know, how do we develop our frontline services, what technology we're going to use for that, you know, and yeah. Let's hope it'd be really great if we could develop more robotics and, and continue our partnership together.